provides like a really emotional feeling to us. Our time in Edinburgh has come to an end and as sad as that is, we're also really excited because we're about to go drive into the Highlands. Let's go. All right, we picked up our rental car and we're driving out of the city right now. Our first stop will be getting some breakfast. The weather here is crazy. Like one moment you're actually like, it's pouring rain, it's so dark. And then within, oh, I just felt, wow. I'm just feeling drops right now. So we're at a mall parking lot and we're having breakfast from Costa. So I got the sausage roll, a classic British pastry. Mm. Oh, oh. So the sausage here is like, it always like surprises me because I'm expecting a sausage shape, but it's like, just like ground meat together with like, spices and it's really good now we're kind of in a hurry so we're gonna get in the car drive and our next stop is Iverness for some groceries and then our accommodations are quite unique and not why you'd think but we'll keep that a secret for a little longer and you'll find out what uh, we have in store for all of us We've been driving for about an hour and a half from Edinburgh and um, we have another hour and a half to Inverness but the landscape has changed quite a bit and it's just becoming more dramatic and hilly and now we have mountains it's truly a beautiful beautiful drive it's fall so actually it's not as green as i hoped but i guess we'll get all the fall foliage okay we're so close to our final destination it's getting exciting but we were warned about some um, situations with the road so i'm a bit nervous Basically, there's gonna be some places that it will just be room for one car. And so you have to go into the side so the other car can pass. But I have no idea what that looks like. And so I'm a bit nervous. We're approaching the scary place, so. All right, it is the next morning. We have made it to our special destination. Um, it was pretty dark last night, so we didn't really film. And so I guess we'll reveal what's so special about this uh, accommodation. We're going to be pet sitting. And so in exchange for free housing, uh, we get to take care of the wonderful, hey, Tommy. Here's Eddie. He's a good boy. He's a very cuddly. <laughs> and very vocal um they're really cute and his brother tommy somewhere around here so uh we'll be taking care of these two sweet boys for the next uh 10 days or so and uh, we're really looking forward to exploring the area and spending time with these two sweethearts today we will be going in a local little town from here and hopefully we'll be doing some hiking and eating some good pub food come here come here tommy they're too distracted there. They're smelling around for animals. All right, let's go. What do you think about taking care of chickens for the next few days? I like it. And I like that it forces me to get out of bed in the morning. <laughs> Something needs, needs you. Easier than having a baby though. <laughs> because it's just a one-way lane for two cars and sometimes you come up on some turns 
and there's no passing place. I feel like you gotta have a lot of luck with you driving in this road. The GPS actually shows 60 miles an hour, which that is about 100 kilometers an hour. I'm currently going 15 miles an hour, which is about 30 kilometers an hour. There's passing places just like this one up ahead. So you kind of have to wait for the car to come, but sometimes the visibility is not that good, so you're not going to be able to see the car. Anyway, we're alive, we're having fun, we're super excited to explore the town of Plockton. We have made it to the little town of Plockton and we're about to start a really pretty walk. The scenery is amazing. Um, you know what? Cue the drone shots. Okay, so what do you think of Scotland, Maria? It's beautiful. I don't think I'd ever be able to live here because it rains a lot and it's very cloudy. Um, but everybody should just come and explore this beautiful country. It's really interesting. I, I'm not really sure how the tides work here, but right now the tide is really low and I think it has been long for a while, but where I'm standing is usually water uh, from the lock, which is connected to the Atlantic Ocean, basically. Uh, super cool. And in some places, it's so muddy, your whole boot sinks in, so you have to be careful. I think it's, it's a combination of the sand and all the rain. There's constantly rain. Uh, one minute it'll be sunny and you're hot, and the next minute it'll be freezing, windy, and rainy. Uh, it's kind of cool. Uh, you, you get a lot of changes of weather. Now we're gonna head into the town. One thing that I've noticed, I mean, I'm particularly seeing and noticing it more now here in Plockton, but these villages, the countryside, it's very well maintained from like the plants to the roads. Everything just looks very nice, taken care of, which is pleasant when you're visiting somewhere. We got the seafood chowder, so it has potatoes, cream, smoked haddock, salmon, smoked salmon, and the best part is the seafood is all local from literally the backyard. And I think the British in me comes out when I have, it's like cooler weather, I just want like a hot bowl of soup, bread and butter, and it smells amazing. And I like how there's like nice chunks of the seafood. It's really hot, exactly the way it should be. It's really good. I think maybe a little bit more salt, but the flavor is really nice. And the seafood tastes really fresh. I got the smoked haddock with a like, warm cheese sauce, different vegetables, so it's asparagus, broccoli, carrots, and potatoes underneath. And some frilly stuff on the top, which I don't really feel too crazy about. So we'll put it over there for now. It's a very like fancy presentation, but let's try it. So this is the same smoked haddock that was in the soup. Really nice. I went ahead and got the posh fish and chips, which instead of a white fish in, in the batter, it's uh, salmon. I love salmon. Salmon is my favorite. Scotland is known for its salmon too. The fries look homemade. Got a side of peas over here. All right. Oh yeah. Nice thick piece of salmon. The salmon is just falling apart. Put a little bit of a sauce. I really like the batter. It's very light, not very bready. You can get a full taste of the salmon. It's really good. 
Another beautiful morning here in the Scottish Highlands. Today we're going to be driving up the steepest road in the UK. It's not quite clear if it is the steepest, but it's one of the steepest and a very scenic drive. So we're super excited for that. And then right by the viewpoint, there's a hike. So we'll uh, be going on a hike. Fingers crossed, it's not gonna pour rain. We'll see. So the Bilakhnaba road, which means cattle passage, is a single track road and you have to be going really slow and every time you see another car you have to pull over on the passing point if it's on your side or they do if it's on their side and um, you let each other pass. Highlands that it just has this energy this power and it it has like a really emotional feeling to it I don't know if I'm just like really emotional or other people feel it too but there's something it just it's like it wraps itself around you and it's so powerful wherever like almost every stop you make that's why we keep stopping and we probably will keep stopping more. it's just a 20 minute drive for us but this is taking like over an hour because we keep making so many stops to just like look over the view as a driver it's really hard for me to admire all the view because it's a single track road you gotta be super focused on the road like i think if there wasn't fog here i'd be completely fine but now that we're kind of going more in and there's like we're pretty much in the clouds it's okay a little bit scary but i trust maria so as you can see it looks like maria is just driving in the clouds We have made it to the viewpoint. Unfortunately, there's not much to view because there's so many clouds, a lot of wind and rain whipping you in the face. However, we decided we're going to attempt the hike. And uh, GoPro camera. change of plans. We got out of the car <coughs> and we realized we're not gonna be able to last for four miles. I mean, and having recently recovered from COVID and having some long-term fatigue, it was not gonna happen. And the crazy part is like, we're high, but we're not super high. But the difference of like down below up here is astronomical. We've been watching these mountains from um, the house window and they always have clouds. So maybe this time of year is probably not that good to do this yeah, hike. Yeah, and I think it's a combination of the cold, harsh wind and the blowing rain. It's just like, but I hope we'll have, we'll have a chance to at least come around here. It's not as bad. Yeah, I hope so. It looked really beautiful, but uh, there's no way and it's, pr and it's probably quite dangerous to do it with how windy it is. We found a different hike to do and I think it may have some waterfalls. This is an unusual entry to a hike. Uh, so we have, uh, what is this? Maybe the processed water or something, so. Uh, <laughs> It's actually quite difficult when there's no path because this hike doesn't really have a path. We're trying to get to the waterfalls. And 
because it rains so much and there's so much water everywhere there's little streams underneath these high patches of grass and you don't see and you can like step right into it we think we're going the right direction Don't be scared. I'm just here to remind everyone to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Now we can go with our hike. I also find it really interesting to see the different like plants and flowers and different landscapes and what grows. And this right here, I, I just think the colors of like the two main flowers and plants in Scotland just add to the, the picturesque views. So this is Heather and it looks like it's dying but you can still see like it's a very beautiful color in summer or the spring months when it's warmer it pretty much covers these areas with the green and it's just beautiful wow. I think I hear the waterfalls and I think it's behind this hill so almost there <laughs> yay okay so we made it we're on the top of the waterfalls so we'll finish up over here go have lunch, play with the doggies, do some work, and uh, I think tomorrow we may be going to a castle. This happened. Ah, oh, the single track roads. Um, all right, a nice local is going to get some of her friends and uh, hopefully they can help us out because we're pretty stuck. <laughs> Yeah. Woo! Hey, Ooh. Hey. <laughs> so we're driving, talking about salmon, you know, as you do when you're in Scotland, and bam, we were right into a ditch right on an angle so the people that helped us i started well it's obviously all the woodland trust jackets on but i thought they were just like volunteer you never know and then it turns out that the guy that pulled us out was the ceo of the woodland trust the biggest forest conservation charity in the uk so you never know what's gonna happen on a trip so get out there have fun fall into a ditch super nice people thank god they were there, they saved the day. The car has no damage, like, wow. <laughs> and when you're at it, check out the Woodland Trust and thank you for what you do because it's amazing. Mm -hmm.